Uh, another young guy, uh, Harrison Bryant, tight end draft pick last year, had a really good orange and, and brown uh, practice, as they're calling it now, um, at First Energy Stadium. He is looking forward to take that next step in year two. Um, obviously a lot different, just first off from not having COVID to uh, you know, a lot more open, just being able to bond with the guys. Uh, and then also just having a, you know, somewhat of an understanding of the offense and just coming out and being able to focus more on you know, what I'm supposed to do on the play instead of knowing what route to run, just focus on my fundamentals and techniques. What was the offseason emphasis for you? What were you trying to improve on? Um, for me, it was just every aspect of my game, um, bigger, faster, stronger, um, and, and just improve on everything. Do you feel like you accomplished some of that? Yeah. Um, I ended up gaining about 13 pounds, so feel good and, and just, you know, trying to, like I said, take advantage of all my opportunities. 13 pounds, uh, moving around pretty well as, as well. So uh, it's, it's a nice thing for him to do. He wanted to be able to block a little better, put on the weight. Um, I think you're going to see that pay off for Harrison Bryant. Remember, he was the Mackey Award winner in college, and a smaller college guy where? Central Florida. Florida, and, I think it was Florida International. Know, best, yeah, FIU. Florida International, thank you. Yep. As the best pass catching tight end, you know, in, in, in college football. I think he, Dave, could make a big jump this year. And I, I like Austin Hooper, and they paid Austin Hooper a lot of money. And I think Austin does a really nice job. But I think Harrison Bryant could be the guy that, that ends up, if not this year, you know, sooner rather than later being the main receiving threat there. And, and remember, the, the numbers, I don't think for any of these guys are going to jump off the page. And I, I took a look at the three tight ends that the Browns have with Njoku and Austin Hooper and Bryant. And, and last year combined, they had great numbers for a tight end. They had 89 catches, just under 900 yards, and nine combined touchdowns out of the tight ends. So Kevin Stefanski loves using that tight end. Will one of them be the guy who gets a bunch of stats and leaves the other ones in the dust? I don't think so. You know, I think they're going to split that up a little bit. Because I, I think Hooper had four touchdowns and it was three for Bryant and two for Nijoku. It was some combination like that. And I those combined numbers I like, but they have to be on board with this system, Dave, and, and make sure that they're all okay with sharing that football, knowing that the receptions are going to be, you know, nobody's going to be Travis Kelsey on this team at least not the way it's built right now. And I, I think they're okay with that. You know, they seem to be a, a real good unit working together, and they've certainly been a great thing for Baker Mayfield to have.